If you are using toolbox for some stuff in your games, they may include some malicious scripts. And this is where the splugin becomes handy. It's called Steadion's Instance Scanner. What this does is, it basically scans an instance and makes you a list of what's included inside them. Here is an example. If we scan this model, we can see its children. This one looks fine, it only has a fire, but it's for a model. So there are three buttons near an instance. First one displays that object in a viewport. I don't recommend using this, because it sometimes crashes studio. Trash can icon is for deleting that object. With this, you can delete all scripts in a model. Last one shows that object in explorer. So what if there are some scripts in a model? We can view scripts with clicking on the script text. I recommend removing everything, but if you want to keep this house's functions, you will need to view content of them. In this window, there is the first button too. It probably searches it up on Google, but I don't recommend using it either. I opened up a script and this looks fine. But if I opened this one with random number name, we can see that it's a malicious script. If you can't figure out if it's malicious or not, these scripts are usually on a single line and has require function. Here are some more examples. Usually these scripts are hidden and their name is blank. This one is one of them. Clearly a malicious script. This one is literally filled with viruses. You can delete all of these scripts with clicking on the trash can icon near the script text. These malicious scripts have similar names. I picked 5 random free models from toolbox and 4 of them had different viruses. There are a lot of types and I can't show them all. What you need to know is, they usually have similar names, they have require method and obfuscation. And last one is this. This one is really well made. This script continues. If you see a such thing, you need to know that there is something on the last line. And here it is. If you want to use toolbox buildings, definitely clear the scripts using this plugin. That was it for this video. Hope you understood. See you in another one.